Hello and welcome, my lords, to an especially smoky game called Ravings. It's a demo! Um, beyond that, I'm not entirely sure what we have in store, but apparently I can use my controller. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there's a bit of lag there. All right, anyway. <laughs> that, oh, wow. Okay, technical problems. It's a demo, after all. It's just a, it's just a tech demo. One of the best demos I've ever done. I hope... Um, that the title screen is not an indication of the quality, uh, Mr. D D with respect to Michael Derrick, what? Oh, I guess that is you. Well, Michael Derrick, I'm gonna give you my unfettered, um, opinion on your, uh, PT-inspired scary game. Um, I don't know if it's officially PT-inspired, but I do know that this room is very PT- D Okay. Um, but how do I drag? I'm, I'm pressing the X button. Oh, it's four. No. Um. Okay, so first all the off, the controller doesn't really work. So I'm going to move to keyboard. And I'm going to figure out how to get this game working one moment. Oh, I think there's a bit of a delay. Excuse me, I did not close that door. Oh, wait, what? Can I just... I can just press the Y button and it opens. Why did it tell me to drag the door? What? Okay, okay, what What else? Um, so I guess X is my Q button. Uh, dear customer, we are glad that you bought the horror FPS kit as the base for your horror game. It is an advanced and easy to use horror game template with many features essential to creating your own horror game, including game, is this some like fourth wall breaking stuff or did you leave this note in? Um, if you have any questions, I mean, that, that seems like it's an actual website. TW game dev um, read. What if I? Oh, you just left the template on, Derek. Derek. So I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean. Like, I I I'm giving you just my my flat expertise. And no, I've never made a game, and I understand it must be difficult. There are quality standards that I adhere to because I've played so many of them. I like to think I know what goes into a good one. Um, being as this is a demo. Little details are one of the most important things in a horror game. Like, I, the this note not saying what it actually says would be one of those little details that nobody would ever overlook. So that's that's definitely an important thing. You probably already know that. Maybe the, you just forgot about this. Um, even though there was an update to the download yesterday. So, according to Ichio in the time of this uploading. Uh, I walk down the hallway and spot Scarlet. She is charming as usual, dressed like a real queen. Mwah! We recently moved to this house, but we already know the future will stand in this- Oh, the furniture will stand in this house. What curtains we will hang, isn't it wonderful? Sure, alright, uh, it's, it's cool, um, Mr. Game Dev's horror kit. So I can just press Y. So that's another thing, is making your controls actually clear. Cause like, I, I can spend like six day, hours or days something sitting on the doorway just trying to open it and it won't do it. But I just have to press the button. All right, but we're getting into the spooks now. We're getting into the shadow. Find the key! All right, all right. Ooh, you know what I would like to do, however, is I'm gonna turn up the, the sensitivity just a tick. There we go, a little bit more. Um, that's much better, that's much better. Ah, uh, hello, sir. How are you doing today? Um, I must say, like, your place, it looks like it could be really nice. I just wanted to point that out. I love the drapes. The curtains you've got on, they're very like old um, English drapes, but I feel like it works with how many windows you have. It adds a little more texture to, to the layout uh, uh, in the building, because you don't really have paintings on the wall. That's, that's a good uh, tip for any of you homemakers out there. If you've got an entire hallway, you can't afford like decorative paintings to put on the walls, get some nice flowy drapes or something just to add a bit of extra depth. I always, I love depth in my buildings, in my rooms, uh, things to have your eyes catch on when you're just sitting there. And I don't know if that's just because like I can't focus on anything. Um, if I have to go into that room, door wasn't opening, no matter what I did. So, uh, I'm just gonna say that now. It wasn't a sign that it was locked. Like that one has a little red circle that says I can't open the door. Like that's a, that's a good 
thing to keep in these kinds of games. But the, that other one there just wouldn't open. Didn't get a note or anything. Uh, ooh. It's apparently suddenly raining and thundering out, even though the other hallway we were in had windows leading to the outside where I might have heard rain and thunder. Interesting. Here's another tip for you. Get your layout. Important small details need to be presented almost at the beginning of the thing. If not halfway through, they need to be pointed out. You can't just have it start raining for no reason. That's called cheap scares. You're trying to put me on edge, but I am a master of my own emotions. All right, here's another note about the game dev kit. Let's see what it actually says. It's like a secret message thing. I get like a purple light and I shine it over and I find the actual hidden diary notes. The doctor warned that this might happen, but I did not expect such a powerful hallucination. It is good that the doctor prescribed me pills to suppress this disease. Scarlet begins to look at me strangely and I squint. I don't like it. Is she also d d hallucinating and, and she's got the ghosts, the like weird Sausage man ghosts. Sorry, that was that was the sound that got me. It was quiet at first and then got a little louder. It built just in the back of my mind. Um, okay, can I can I open? So why did why did that one open when I I pressed a direction at first? Whatevs, whatevs. So I gotta find a key, or I can never open that door. There was a book here. Can I read that? No. A, a book. Thank you. I could not figure that out on my own. Oh, wow, I really appreciate you telling me that. You want to show me what's in the pot? No, it's just a pot. All right. I just want to see what's on the radio. It's got a light on. Can I listen to the radio? I don't know what's on. Oh, it's not on. Do I have to, like, actually press it? No, I want to. I want. Oh, use. <laughs> oh! Oh! You know what? I'm gonna turn that off. Um, I think I'm actually good. I think I don't. I don't need to um, listen to the rest of that. That was. That was. A, that was a great station. You know, I, I really love the whole. The. Um, the, the, the movie aspect, you know, it was a radio show. It was just a, it was just, open the goddamn door. Remove the sliding mechanic, because it's not 100% responsive. I, you either have to fix it or get rid of it entirely. And if it's too much of a hassle to fix, get rid of it entirely. Now, according to my not cheaty ways, there is a key right on the table. All right, so next complaint. I almost didn't see the flashlight. Um, I went looking around underneath everything. I would suggest, um, because you've got the crouch control and you can go really low, try doing some things that involve you having to get low. Like, there's a little, um, suggestion. That's not, that's not me saying you need that to make this better. I think adding that layer would definitely add some depth to the game. Um, things that are important. You have to add some kind of shimmer or whatever, because that looks like it's part of the table. I didn't see it. I could hardly see the flashlight on here. I only noticed it because I hovered over it. Because I, I, on these scary games, I play with my, my brightness turned really low, because that's that's just what I'm used to. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get this key, trigger the monster, and objective pre-completed. I'm sorry? Pre-completed? Uh, all right, uh, the door is jammed. So there's two doors I can use the key on. I guess, I guess because the game is a demo and I haven't gotten the quest to, to go into the room, it's, uh, it just re registered it as like, oh, you've almost completed the quest, uh, but yeah, I didn't give it to you, so good job on being a go-getter. So I guess that's something that I can, I can accept. Uh, yeah, I guess... This is where we're at. An empty, empty room. Gonna get murdered in here. That's all right. That's all right with me. Let's see what's on this super secret note. I'm scared. More and more, I begin to doubt where is reality and where is fiction. Scarlet is gone. She left me, abandoned me, and betrayed me. And now I'm alone in this big house. Or not. The sausage man waits. Room 101. All right, cool. 
Um, oh, my my horizontal look sensitivity just went down like a crap ton. Uh, all right, that, my batteries are almost dead, so I'm going to boom. Uh, so let's combine with the flat with the flashlight. Uh, what? Couldn't reload my flashlight. I went around looking so much that I've spent most of my battery. Um, you should change that light to also look red if it's emitting red light. Just because that's that's one of those little details that should be important. Like, people are going to notice that. Um, and don't I don't want you to see this as me, like, r harping on your game. Because I see you've put a lot of effort into that this, and that's important. Like, loving what you do, that that is one of the most important things you could get going for you. Uh, so, like... Yeah, it's just it's just those little details. Those those are some of the most important things in in scary games. You could have an entire game without a monster or some big scary payoff, um, and it would cheapen the experience to do that. But if you just had tons of little details that added to the I'm gonna die experience, then it's like you're ahead of the game, man. Uh, have I seen this door before, or is it again steps? Someone is looking at me. Step, step, steps. Creak of the soul. They scream. How did I end up here? Don't turn around. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll just pick up the key and I won't uh, turn around. Let me. Boom, ba doom, ba doom. Won't turn around. Won't turn around. Okay. Ha. Ha. I beat your game. Can't make me turn around. That's right. That's right. Uh, was this door even locked? Can you open faster? Thank you. Thank you. I got a flashlight. You can't. It can't spook me. What's gonna be around this corner? Oh, if I hit a maze, I might have hit a maze. Hello. Oh boy, I love mazes. Mazes are my favorite thing. I love wandering aimlessly, just awaiting my demise. It's truly the best. Okay, maybe it's not a maze. It's the big house. Okay, bye. Sure. I'll just get a loud noise. I don't. Okay, open the fucking door. Um, was it behind me? I didn't know if it was coming to murder me. That scare doesn't count. Shut up. This is our new home. Do come and visit us. Uh, is that the Resident Evil Biohazard home? Uh, 4589. 4589. I guess I have to remember that. 4589. 4589. 4589. Hey, guys heard uh, of the 4589? I've heard of the 4589. Um, I, I, 4589. I'm gonna forget that as soon as I need it. So I have to say it three more times. Four, five, eight, nine. Forty-five, eighty-nine. Okay, I think I got it. Ooh. Oh, 45, 89. I want, I want to see if I can use the batteries. Oh, oh, thanks. I don't know why it wouldn't work before. Like, do I have to wait for it to get to a certain point? All right, whatever. Uh, okay, see, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. I need uh, mouse controls for this. Or at least just let me type it in. Uh, four, five, eight, eh, eh, eight, and nine, and then and then enter. Thank you, sir. Let me in. This is ah. Oh, thank you for playing the ravings demo. I will continue to develop this game further if I see your support. I will need a lot of resources to implement all the ideas. If you like this game. Please write a comment on the Ichio page. Uh, I will. I'm gonna make a video on it, man. I'm gonna give you some props. Hey, you guys, if you like what you saw, hit that like button and go and like download link in the description because I gotta give props where they're due. It does take a lot of time and effort even to like put in the the base layout of of your game. Um, so again, I hope you don't take my criticisms to heart. I was more so just hoping to like give you suggestions since this is a demo. I imagine you got time to like implement the finer details. So like. Make a list. Write down what, what you think is the most important and, and check off that list. And just remember, small details in a horror game make a world of difference. The player may not notice them in exactly or be able to identify that's what had the greater effect, but it's, it's a big piece of a puzzle. And if you're looking at a puzzle and it's missing something, you're gonna know there's something wrong with it. That's, that's about it. So. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next vi video. Okay, bye.